Hello everyone, welcome back to the final season of Panthers Franchise. Last episode we went got ourselves a quarterback. We got a number of key players that are going to try to help us get farther along. Um, and, try, and try to make a big push into the playoffs. So we've got rookie quarterback. Uh, we've got Kyler Murray as our backup just in case everything goes haywire. So let, let's see what this trade offer is real quick for McKenzie. No. We want we want our backup tight end, just in case. So Alright, so we're gonna set our season goal here real quick. Our season goal, it's gotta be win the Super Bowl. That's just is what it, it is. That is our goal. So I can't I can't do anything else, but alright. So opening day keys, we're going to talk about dominating offense and get the, a, a great passing attack. That's what we're going to try to do. Uh, let's see here. Rookie quarterback. We're going to talk about uh, a great performance. You can get 300 yards while beating the Vikings with Steven Burr as our quarterback. I'm excited to see how he does here, so we'll get into our weekly strategies real quickly. Um, it's going to be defending the short pass against Corey Lockbaum and throwing it medium against Jalen Ramsey in there guys so um, we see here that we got a bunch of guys I'm going to take him and put our quarterback here so then he can uh, get get more experience. I'm also going to take him out and put. Uh, do we put Goodard in there, or do we put? We're gonna put Lance Pete in here, just to change our focuses up and try to get these guys more experience as quickly as possible. Um, I do want. I mean, cornerbacks need to get experience because we need them to just excel at whatever they're doing. So this, that's why we're going to be set the way we are. All right, from here, we'll upgrade players and then get right into the play of the moment. So let's see. All right, so <laughs> sorry for the little uh, glitch there that I don't know what the heck happened there. But Steven Burr is going to get a plus two right now which we are going to personally uh, put it into field general. We want him to be a field general quarterback. It just is what it is. Um, 91, okay. Everyone else we're just gonna give a plus one to, so. All right, so we're in Dallas's uh, offensive playbook, New York Jets defensive playbook right now. Um, play the moments. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna continue to be in Dallas's playbook. All right, let's play the moments. All right, so they're gonna give us a big first quarter drive. We're starting at the 18. Looks like the defense actually made a big stop, so. We will, uh, we'll take that to start. Um, I'm going to start out in doubles a halfback stretch. I got a rolling safety, so, yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping the tight end would go block him, but apparently he decided against that, so. Let's come out to tight end and the post here. We'll just come with the normal ish. Ah. All right, let's see if we can get. There we go. First down for Goodard. 
All right, so now we'll come with the wide inside zone. Got motion stand to the right. Oh, almost got outside with Robertson. Damn. See if we can actually get some. See if we can actually get some yards here. With Robertson. We need we need to be balanced ish, but alright. We made it third and four. We ma we made him have to um respect anything we do. Which means I come out, do this, and I don't have to look um so close. So, I can check it down if I need to, but Nakua's going to be wide open there. So, two for three for 63 yards so far from Burr. That'll work. That will work. Um, Nothing really should stop the run here. Number six, come on, get up there. There we go, McKenzie. Give him a block. Right. I'm just gonna come out and do a uh, lead full house. Let's do it with a counter. Robertson, get in there! Oh, down to the one, down to the one. Uh, let's just go halfback dive. See what happens. See what happens here, ladies and gentlemen, and. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope. Alright, we're gonna have to. Home team is slightly faster in the red zone. Yikes. Uh, let's just do halfback stretch. Hopefully, my. Uh, hopefully, my goal line back will actually work. Come on, get in there. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. We got seven to start. We got seven to start defense now on a pickle here. That's going nowhere. Oldham stopping Jefferson real quickly here. Right, my goal line defense here right now. Yeah, go into it a sec. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I shouldn't have clicked on. I shouldn't have clicked on. That's on me. Tajay Spears with the touchdown. So. It's all right. So, uh, second and five right now. We're in the red zone. So, we're moving the ball. Beautiful. Good timing pass. We're working hard for our yards here, ladies and gentlemen. We're working hard. All right, first and goal here from the 10. Oh, I probably should have gone to the RPO, but didn't like what I... And seen out of that either, so we're gonna go RPO alert. Mm. Vikings are holding up here, and that's a it's a real shame. Uh, let's go tray open, and then. Dagger. Burr. I, it was under. Pro oh no! Injury timeout for Stephen Burr. Oh, that sucks. Kyler Murray is going to have to come in and play for us. 
Lutz makes it a 10 to 7 game though, so have to hope the defense will hold up one more time and we're going to have to come in and help them with that. Won't be able to at this point. was going that way too and yeah we just couldn't stop him all right two minute drill looks like Burr is back so we he wasn't gone for long whatever injury it was I don't know how I feel about that elongated throw motion there, but we will uh, make it work, I guess. We're going to make it work. Uh, just, just threw it out of the sack there. Set up my normal little daggerish play. Uh, I didn't have any time. And people were getting bumped all over the place. Let's go to spot here. I'm out of spot. I can do this little scissor play. Standing. We're gonna do drag under now out of bunch close. I don't know what. Yeah, that was poor accuracy. Okay. Okay, poor accuracy. I can, I can accept a poor accuracy. Type of play. Um. Yeah. Gotta call timeout. Inside post now. A little hitch. Move Forbes a little farther outside. Got standing over the middle. Oh, he just steps out of bounds at the two, but he almost got all the way. That was kind of the hope. So RPO bubble. Let's see if uh, Robertson can get it in here. Yep. Perfect. Oh, make it a 17 to 14. We like to see that. Third down alert. It's third and one. A uh, bunch open tight end screen. This is man. This is all man. The blitz and Robertson's going to get it. 16 rushes for 36 yards. I don't like those numbers, but, you know, what can you do? And now we are. Now we're in a blender. Right, we're going to flood it. I, I don't know what's going to get open here, but I'm hoping something will get open. Um, Goddard. You got open enough. You got open enough, and that's all you really need. So, um, hopefully Nakua. No, oh, it went out of bounds. It was really bad. 
it said bad accuracy. It should have said awful accuracy, but... I mean, we're rocking a 74 overall rookie in his first game, so I'm not surprised by it by any stretch. Ooh, okay. 23. Just put his hand in there. If we had Gunslinger, that would have probably been a first at the very least, so... Um, I doubt this is gonna work. But, you know. Eight fourth and inches. Um... I think coach has the right idea of going for it, but I'm going to alert bubble it, give myself an option. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Up two scores now. Let's go. So we're back in the red zone. They went and got three. We're still pushing the ball right now. We're hoping to be up by two scores again right here. Oh, okay. And Malik Forbes is injured yet again. Ah, I'm, I almost have to trade him at this point because it's just not... I mean, at least we got a good core that's basically scoring at will so all right fourth and three I'm showing blitz but I'm zoning most of it out Come on, stop him stop him. there we go it's first and ten for us let's go sir tan I mean I'm going for the bomb basically because I need the passing yards so ah I didn't think it was that bad come on let me go for it here I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in play all the offensive snaps right now and go for it because um because I want to basically and I want to try to get Burr the uh 300 yards get him more XP really quickly. Um, oh, B. B's open. Thank you. So Tyler Weston with the tutty there, but... Alright. We're on offense again. I forgot to switch back to the play of the moment, so... No. Uh, Super Saiyan. I gotta go... I gotta go to play the key moments there. All right, red zone threat. It's Thirty-eight to seventeen right now. So, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that uh, that Burr has it here. Three hundred twenty-four yards. Okay, so he's got the three hundred yards and the win. Um, what we don't have right now is just the uh, the three hundred and fifty yards that coach won. But we we've at least got Malik Forbes with a nice catch there. So we don't have the three hundred fifty yards, but we've got the rest. So um. I'll take that. And we'll see you at the uh we'll see you at the stats everyone. Yeah, we're just going to clock it out now. So, we'll see you at the stats. All right, everyone, if we take a look at the stats, Stephen Burr for the rookie out of Kentucky, 6 foot 4. Played extremely well. 340 yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions, 20 completions off of 31 attempts. That's not bad, guys. That is not bad. Lockbaum didn't have a bad one, but he was zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. That was key. 
and under 200 yards passing. So, we played very well. Parker Robertson had a game. Four touchdowns, ladies and gentlemen. Four touchdowns. 2.8 average is not good, but hey, I mean, he, he secured it. He secured a win with 31 attempts. We pounded the rock. Um, if we're looking just at uh, the, the receiving for the Panthers, six people complete, uh, got completions. Um, and obviously only the one to Tyler Weston, like our third string tight end. But, I mean, if you're looking at it overall, three guys got 80 yards. So, I would say we didn't do bad at all. Uh, we spread the rock to uh, three out of our four. Or, or real, and Puka didn't have a lot, you know. It's not like Puka didn't get a lot of targets at him either. Um, so, I mean, our four main threats got yards. So... Shout out to them for that. Uh, no sacks, no interceptions, uh, two TFLs. So, I mean, it wasn't the greatest defensive game, but they held them. Uh, definitely didn't allow them anything past the third, if you see that, or if you see by the uh, scores by quarter. So, hey, we'll, we'll take that kind of a game and move on from there. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at our upgrades here, Denario Meredith is getting an upgrade in his zone, uh, making him an 80 overall player, which is a, I mean, an amazing part uh, place to be at. Devin Falk, uh, Faulkner is going to get a plus one in his uh, agile, agile uh, archetype. Wendell Stan is going to become a 90 overall possession type end. That is a beautiful thing to see. Um, so that means ability-wise, he's gonna get more abilities, I think. Um, yeah, he's gonna get route tech now. Oh, that's gonna be excellent. That, that is awesome. That is a beautiful thing to see. So, um, and then Malik Forbes, who unfortunately keeps getting injured. Um, we're gonna put him in slot there. Making him an 87 in that archetype. He's still a star development, but he's still one of... Like, when he's on the field, he is one of the best. So, I, I think that's the only reason we keep him. Uh, the key to victory here, obviously, we threw, we did throw the ball a lot. Uh, and we didn't... But we didn't execute it all the way up to perfection. But the team still got gets a 1,000 XP. We get five uh, staff points, which we will use um, before next episode. And then our rookie quarterback, um, I mean, we're going to give him the steady improvement just to get his XP up so he earns 4,500 XP specifically for that. We're going to move on to week four, I think, or uh, nope, we're going to move on to week three. We're going to move on to week three. Um, I'm going to upgrade players right here. Um, with you guys watching, so we're gonna do uh, Joshua Goddard, or Goddard, however we wanna say that's gonna get Playmaker plus one. Um, those are his abilities right now, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah Hales is getting a plus one. Um, he's our rookie cornerback, I think, four or something like that. I think he's cornerback number four, but I mean, still big. Uh, getting a plus one skill towards uh, field general, which means his improviser will make him a 75. He will will know what hit he is at the uh, before the next game, which is the Falcons game here. And we're going to find out in about three, two, one. Come on, advance and show me a win from the Giants. We're getting there. We did. We won 30 to 29. Oh, my God. All right. So. Let's see here. Um, Miles Oldham got. I'm going to give him plus one to his run stuffer attributes, actually. 
I, I need him to do a little bit better in that regard. Yeah, he's a 77 block shed, so we, we definitely need him to upgrade in there. Carry hey, him plus one to it. Agile blocking these. Thank you. Um, we're going to just skip the rest there. All right, so our quarterback for this is... What, what development trait? Please tell me a superstar. He's a star. All right, but that's fine. We'll we'll give him enough chances, though, to become a superstar in the night. I, I don't see why he won't be by the end of it all. So thank you all so much for watching. Please do me a solid and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. This Panthers franchise is going to continue to move on. And hopefully we've put all of our cards enough, it, enough cards on the table to become the Super Bowl champions like we said we were going to. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.